Okay, so today is, in fact, a glorious day. I was presented today, it is, uh, what, late September, early October 2023. I just received in the mail my release from federal probation. So I framed it. Uh, this has been five and a half years now of continued harassment by the federal government. Uh, to put it in a nutshell, I was indicted solely for one purpose and one purpose only, to flip to give information to the federal government. I refused to give information to the federal government based on a code of honor, loyalty, and respect. I never dreamed it would go this far. I just found out uh, as a criminal defense attorney for 30 years, this is unheard of in state court because you have rights in state court that don't, don't exist on the federal system. For me, not giving them the information they, they thought I possessed, uh, I had to pay the price. Okay, so anytime you're the first of anything, well, it's for a reason, all right? I went through the first indictment, and I made it clear I wouldn't cooperate. And so what they do is they first go to get seizures and forfeitures and tax evasion or bribery charges, none of which could stick on me. So those were all dismissed. And now they have to attack, find a different way to attack your money. It's called federal tactics. So what they do is indict you, you beat that indictment, they re-indict you, and they take so long to beat that indictment, and then they re-indict you. And by that time, it's going on two and a half years, and they're draining all the money out of your accounts. You still have to pay for all your bills and things of this nature. And so finally, they wear you down. They call it, bleed them till you plead them, okay? So I did plead to the third indictment, which was so bizarre. Uh, what is it called? Aiding and abetting by allowing the possibility that someone might buy more drugs because they did a line of coke at one of my house parties. I really didn't know I was responsible for someone else's actions. All for no profit. So when we get to the court, and this is on the federal record, we address the judge and said, listen, there's no even allegation of any profit of any kind. And the judge said, no, I disagree. It's what economists refer to as psychic rent. Uh, he, I, he said, I must have profited in my own mind. So I said, so does that mean I can go to McDonald's, buy a Big Mac fries and a Coke, and pay for it with the profit in my mind? And then they told me to shut up or I'm going to do another two years. <laughs> so I pled to it. Uh, never knowing I was going to go to prison, by the way, like a real prison. Anyway, today changes everything. I will no longer sit on my right to free speech in the interest of educating and perhaps entertaining the public. 